know what you're thinking. Obsidian as a product management tool? Obsidian doesn't manage projects, and you're probably already using something more popular like Notion or Atlassian. But I use Obsidian every day as a product manager. If you're a product manager looking to optimize your workflow, or if you're just curious how other people are using Obsidian, this video might be for you. In this video, I want to show you how I use Obsidian to understand our customers, track our product, and ultimately decide on the vision for the product. And to be fully transparent, I'm also going to talk to you about all the drawbacks I see from my current workflow. There's a few things I really like about Obsidian. First is that it's based on Markdown, which means it's really easy for me to take what I have in Obsidian and transfer it over to any other application or send it over to somebody else. As you can see with my Obsidian, it's very customizable. I like to work in pink. I think it makes me happy and it makes me feel like what I'm doing is not work and more of something fun. And a lot of people are doing the same thing. They are customizing Obsidian to the colors and fonts that they want to see. At the same time, it's not so customizable that you're spending all day long working on your layout and getting distracted by all of your options. In that sense, it's very minimal. All I really have to do is type. And for my work, for my thought process, this really works well because I like to just think in long form. I like to figure out an outline and then break it down further. That's been really helpful in Obsidian because there's really no distraction. All right, so let's start with how I use Obsidian to understand my customers. I talk to our customers all the time. I do customer interviews and I do follow-ups and just try to understand how they want to use our product and what they're doing with the product. I don't know how other PMs do customer interviews, but the way I like to do it is I have a template that I base most of my interviews on. Obviously, it's a template. It doesn't apply to every single interview, but it's a good starting point. This way, every time I do an interview, I don't have to think of it all over again. I could just look at my template, see which questions and which lines of thought apply to this particular interview or meeting, and then I apply that or I use it as I talk to the customer. This is really important to me. Editing the template is easy. You just go to the folder where it's in and then you edit. The templates allow me to not have to repeat myself over and over again. I know that I have done this before, it works, and it has the added improvement that at the end of the meeting or interview, I could update my template once I noticed that there's something that I could improve. That means it's faster feedback and faster improvement. Up next is how I use Obsidian to track product information. I work at a startup and our product grows really fast. It's actually really difficult to keep track of all of the changes in the product and all of the things that are going on at the same time. And I'm sure this is not a unique thing. Most other people are encountering similar problems. I use Obsidian to track most of this product information. Every time I go to a meeting, every time I see an update, Every time I think of things on my own, I like to put it into Obsidian and just keep track of it there. So here's a quick sample of how I would use Obsidian for my work notes. So maybe I have an important project and I have to meet with several different people about it. One of them would be my manager. I'll create a separate note for my meeting with my manager and type them down some things right here. So on the part of the meeting where we would talk about the project, I would make sure to put that in a separate section. This way, it would be easy to link later. And I'd also make sure to link it back to the important project. I would do the same thing as I meet with other people too. So for instance, I might meet with my engineering team about the exact same things that I met with my manager about. So here's some more notes and here's some more linking to the original page. And I think this is where Obsidian shines. It's really so easy to link things to one another. I tend to remember the names of the files that I create, but even if that doesn't work, it's really easy to search for whatever it is that you're looking for and link things from there. What I like about this is that it's not a folder structure. Everything is linked 
kind of like a web. This graph on the side is actually a really easy way for you to remember what notes you've taken. And it's also an easy way for you to navigate through your notes. I use this graph all the time. Finally, I want to show you my favorite feature from Obsidian. This is the main reason I am still using Obsidian. It's the main reason I switched to Obsidian in the first place. And this is the section previews. Heading back to our earlier example, I want to connect my meeting notes to this project note. And I do that by entering this exclamation point right here that creates a small preview on the section of the note that I want to display. That's how the hashtag part works. The great thing about this is that you can actually connect your notes without having to have it pulled up. So just by typing, you are linking all of your notes, which reduces a lot of time. I love this feature because that means I could make an update on the one true source and still have other notes reference that. As a product manager, I have to repeat information very often. This is really common and really well recommended. So I actually have to reference the same notes over and over again. And then as promised, some drawbacks from my current workflow. Obviously, Obsidian is not going to be integrated to any of the applications that my company uses. So I do have to do a lot of copying and pasting. Sometimes I have to do to copy links over. Sometimes I have to copy my work over to the company's application at the end. I wish there were a way to integrate, but I don't think this is something that Obsidian sees as a use case for them. I just really like it. I like the distraction-free environment and I think it is the ultimate tool for thinking. As a summary, I like to use templates for activities and things that I have to do over and over again. This includes things like customer interviews, meetings, stand-ups. I use linking all the time to track all kinds of information. I link things from a parent topic to a child topic. I link things from related topics that I think might have to touch later on. I use section previews so that I could recycle information without having to switch pages, copy paste, and have to make sure that things are always in sync. If you're referencing, you never have to make sure that something is in sync. If you like this kind of content, please do the usual like, comment, subscribe, this helps me know that you like this kind of content and that I should create more. See you next time.